Hello, Durwood. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Culligan man. Nobody knows any of these references. Let's really? move on, Patty. Really? Let's move on. <laughs> Welcome, friends and fans, to another edition of GalaxyCon Live, where we are bringing the convention experience directly to you. And today, we are going back to the planet Urk with four incredibly talented performers from the cast of Invader Zim. So without further ado, let's head on down to Bloody's Pizza Hog and see who we find. Our first guest is an actor and pop culture historian whose credits include The Garfield Show, Avengers, Earth Mightiest, Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Sonic Boom, and Batman, The Return of the Cape Crusaders. Today he joins us to, as the voice of the co-ruler of the Urkin Empire, Almighty Tallest Red. Please welcome back Wally Wingert. Welcome, brave Urkin soldiers. Wow, how about a sandwich? Ah. <laughs> Wally, Oi, how buddy. are you? I am good, my friend. How have you been? Uh, good, busy, crazy. It's awesome. Very happy, very happy. Busy is good in our line of work, is it not? It is. You got to <laughs> make, make hay while the sun shines, as my gramps always used to say. <laughs> Coming from uh, a farming community, I guess that has a whole different uh, meaning. But um, yeah, just uh, stay busy while, while you can, because there will be those days where you're not busy and you just have to kind of give yourself permission to relax. But yeah, I've been working on my Christoine uh, stuff uh, on Christoine.net. Yes. Uh, there's one news uh, short story every Saturday, christoween.net, uh, up through Christmas Day. I'll be appearing at uh, Season Screamings in Pasadena here in a couple of weeks to promote Christoween and uh, look forward to seeing everybody again in, the, in a post-pandemic world. Yay! Absolutely, absolutely. And of course, you know, someday we'll get our dream project, the uh, Groovy Ghoulies Christmas uh, special produced. <laughs> but, you know, you know, this is some legal entanglements, but we'll get there. I know it. Count me in. <laughs> done and done. <laughs> Next, she is an actress and singer whose credits include Digimon, Mega Man, Star Force, and the original Broadway production of Wicked. Today, she joins us as the voice of the wrathful gas membrane. Please welcome back Melissa Fawn. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, Melissa, how are you? I am awesome, and I want to say happy holidays because December is here, and it's like a, it's like a chase to the you know to the finish line you know you get october you got halloween thanksgiving and now poof we're here so happy holidays everyone oh, and to you as well everything is good in your corner of the world everything is awesome everything is good knock on wood knock on everything healthy happy my family's healthy happy here's a shout to everyone in my family i love you all what? um but yeah no we are uh we're doing good i've been super super busy recording i'm still right here recording remotely in my studio as is a lot of us still but so grateful <laughs> to be working and i have a lot of cool projects coming up and i am always so happy to be right here with my boys mm, well melissa welcome back so great to see you in good health and in good spirit Thank you, you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and next, he is a voice actor, writer, and artist whose body of work includes Mighty Magic Swords, The Trinkets, The Sad Circus by the Sea, and At Tavacat. Today he joins us as the voice of Gurr. Please welcome back Ricky Simons. Ooh. Hi. <laughs> How are you? How's it going? Oh, good, young man. How have you been? I'm all right. You know, doing stuff, still alive. It's weird. Oh, it's yeah, weird. It's, it's weird being still alive, isn't it? It's weird. <laughs> Every day I wake up and I look up at my hands and I go, Ooh, and then I, 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 and I, then I stand up. Mm -hmm. Now is that a uh, is that a holiday season fest or is that just your usual round year wear? Because you have oh. some very sartorial flair usually, so no, I can't tell. I usually wear uh, a different vest with this shirt. Um, but uh, this is the best I like to wear around this time of the year. I, I'm also wearing my uh, my candy cane belt right now, uh, which I usually put on the day after Halloween. Uh, and doesn't come off until January. Sweet. Ooh. Ooh do, are we going to get to see this belt at some point? Or are you not no. wearing pants? <laughs> <laughs> it's candy cane. Is it edible? <laughs> um, That's for you to find out. You know, oh, behave. Everything, hey. hey. everything is Everything is edible if you think about it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Everything is. You're right. <laughs> and on that note, he is an actor whose body of work includes the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, and Hell of a Boss. Today he joins us as the voice of Zim. Please welcome back everyone's friend, Richard Horvitz. 
Hey, it's oh, are we doing this now? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, let me know when we're live because I have so much damn things that I want to. Oh, when are we going live, Patty? Because my. Oh, uh, we'll be going live soon. So. Uh... Oh, awkward. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> you know what my gramps used to say? Make gramps while the hay shines. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you think your gramps are Wally's? Oh, never mind. Anyway. They're making ah! hay. They're making yeah. hay while this while the gramp shines. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And they all wore candy cane belts. Right. They yeah, wore candy cane, candy cane belts. Cane belts. Yes. Where's your candy cane belt? I ate it. Because <laughs> I because I, I do yoga. Said. It makes sense. I didn't even take it off. <laughs> this candy cane yoga? this candy cane belt is one of these, if you know what I mean. He's having yeah. a belt back today. I'm yeah. out of the belt yeah. right are now. You, uh, are, you, are, you doing, are you doing goat yoga? I'm doing goat yoga. Yes, I bend yeah. goats we do all yeah. sorts of ways. Makes it easier. I don't have to do it myself. I just go <laughs> bend goat. Yeah. <laughs> Namaste, everyone. Now let's Namaste. take our let's take our mats and our candy cane belts. Uh, uh, I, I have my mat, but I don't have a candy cane belt. Uh, I just yeah. have my well, goat. We'll see you next week. The room then, I have my goat move my mat for me. Right. Matt. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> uh, but, but, is, but is your goat goat? Greatest of all time, goat. Wow. I'm the greatest of all time, and I have a goat e. Wow, ah, triple this goat, triple really goat. Wow. Yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> well, this, 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 this mythical candy cane belt is kind of goat for me. So, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, I'm, uh, frankly, I'm offended by all these bad jokes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll stop. We'll stop. I'm sorry. Uh, Oh, oh, yeah. they got Yay, <laughs> We're on the gong show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up next, let's bring about this this next guest. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. The oh. dancing oh. machine. I put a paper bag over my head, but they don't make them anymore in Florida. <laughs> Funny story about Gene Gene, the dancing machine that was told to me by one of the guys at the Tonight Show who actually was had been at NBC so long that he actually worked on the Tonight Show he, or, or had worked on the Gong Show. He said that Gene was one of the lighting guys. Yes. That, that Chuck Barris just happened to see backstage doing a little thing. He says, you're on the show, man. So he was one of the lighting guys for the oh Gong God. Show. He was he was not a tally, he was not a singer, not a dance. That's he was so just the lighting cool. guy who happened to move and Chuck Barris said, You're on the show. So yeah. awaited him. Wow. Yep. That's Love Jeannie. Amazing. How how cool is it or how sad is it that we're old enough to remember that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember any of that. It was way before my time. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were the unknown comic. Okay. Yes. Murray Langston. Yeah. Hey, Chucky baby, Chucky baby, hey. <laughs> he was Chris hilarious. Chris, uh, I do a pressure that first man to walk on the sun. Ouch, hot, hot, hot. hot. <laughs> <laughs> that one always stuck with me. I like when he brought out the little paper oh bag as his, yeah, as his baby. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Right. Invader Zim. Hey, yeah. Invader yeah. Zim, right. And he right. turned the bag around and said, now nah, my next impression, Linda Blair. And he turned yeah. the bag around. <laughs> Crazy. All right, for those for those for those our, our younger viewers, there, uh, the Gong Show was uh, a show. Look it up; it's on YouTube. Uh, you'll be blown away. Uh, just uh, yeah, just don't 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 look at the popsicle twins, and I'll leave it at that. All right, ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, friends, uh, welcome back to the Galaxy Sky Virtual Stage. As always, so glad to have you here. Uh, we're going to go to audience questions, so I say let's just jive right on in and let's have some kids just keep this train rolling. <laughs> And our first question comes from Audrey, and she would love to know what has been the most rewarding part of working on Invader Zim? Together. Also, together, together, but that, that may imply you guys were in the studio at the same time and stuff like that. We all know that doesn't well, work as much as we'd love it to. Unless well, we, it's actually, we actually were. We actually okay. were in the studio, um, which yeah. is, is, Melissa was right, that was probably the best times because we, you know, we would make each other laugh. And I've always said to Ricky uh, that we were like at our prime, you know, we were just having fun and we were laughing. We were making each other laugh. And I think, you know, we had no idea how great the show was going to be. But then um, when, you know, we saw the results and started traveling to conventions, I think the greatest, most rewarding thing is, is that something that you had so much fun doing uh, 
is that entertaining to people for over 20 years now. So that that's what I take away from it. That and my friendships with all these people, all these crazies. I agree. I agree. Really agree. Along the way. I mean, and that's why, and that's why we still care about each other so much now. And I mean, if if they didn't make me laugh as hard as they did years ago, then who would want to be with them right now? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had such a great time, and it was such a collaborative working environment and of course with Jonan and if we if we were making each other laugh and then we looked over and we saw Jonan laughing in the booth and everyone in the in the booth um you know th that was what it was all about and I think then that permeated through and and hopefully you know translated to why everyone is still loving the show fair I think so <laughs> is that you're gonna put an x get x get the square Ricky <laughs> oh, I'm just agreeing with Melissa. Oh, thank you. Someone agreed with me. Yeah. How about yeah, Wallace? 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 I agree. With you. I could not have said it better. You said everything that I was going to say, and uh, it was an, an amazing experience, and uh, one I shall never forget, and one I miss uh, dreadfully. So. Oh, Wallace. Oh, oh Richard. Oh, Wallace. <laughs> oh, oh, Mar oh Marcia. do you mean, you mean by, that? by that? That is not... An answer. Uh oh, we've crossed the JC superstar line already in the show. I can't already, believe. we're only a few minutes in. It's already. Wally, Wally used to do these amazing silent movie theater parties for birthdays and special events, and and our favorite musical is Jesus Christ Superstar. And one year, we he he rented out the silent movie theater, and we all just did a sing along. It was on the screen, so you can sing along. Right. Yeah. Wow! Yeah, it was. Great. Yeah. Yeah, it was wow. And Barry was there. Barry, who played, um, pilot. who played pa pilot Pontius Pilate, was there yeah. in the movie. He was there. Yeah, and yeah. He, yeah. He was That's the greatest guy. Great. Oh my yeah. god! What an awesome party! Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Great idea. Oh, nice. There you go, Audrey. Great question to start us off with. Thank you. What do we have next? Here's one from Weasel. What was your most memorable moment in the recording studio? And you can pull from any facet of your recording career. Oh, any facet in the yeah. recording studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I had uh, walking pneumonia on one episode of Invader Zim. That was good. Uh, I, I saw your those. pneumonia. It wasn't walking. <laughs> I, did, I, did, I did the burrito. Thank you. Da 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 um, okay. I don't hear a plane. Who hears a plane? It's, it's, it's me, Melissa. I'm overhead. I'm about ready to jump. See ya. <laughs> yeah. Geronimo! Pretty slowly. Yay. I'm um, coming to your house. So, so we all came back into the studio and we were kind of revisiting our voices. And I think it was like, it wasn't it in the fall or around this time of year. And we all were kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Getting back Ricky, Ricky really was having like breathing problems. He was having asthma attacks. Right, right. We were like passing around like lozenges. What kind of lozenge do you have? I yeah. Have That's honey. right. Gaz <laughs> sounded like this. He was like, Dib, <laughs> Dib, what are you doing? Hey, it's me, Gaz. It's me. Gaz. <laughs> It's me, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true that we were all just like, oh, I gotta get back into our voices. And it, but then, you know, we did it and it, it was all good with the help of yeah, lots. It was like, the, it was exactly the same. It was just like we, we walked out of a room and we came back in and for some reason we were 20 years older. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> very, very disorienting. <laughs> <laughs> Lozenge, by the way, is my safe word. Just wanted you to know. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's what only when you're with Jerry Lewis. <laughs> lozenge! 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 <laughs> um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a very funny thing. This is a recording studio way back in the beginning of, of Wally's in my career. Is that Wally and I were both hired to do the Popeye CD-ROM video game. And it 
And and uh, Wally played uh, everything. He played Popeye and Wimpy, and I played the sea hag. <laughs> hello, hello, Popeye. Right, and we we had this joke that there was a big red button on on the wall that said in the lobby, do not in the lobby, do not touch the all. It's the all erase button. And so, <laughs> I've heard of this place. Uh, I've had other, we've had other actors on here before that talked about this place. Yes. Oh, the the all all erase erase button. Button. Yeah, would every, you touch? Where every tape in the studio would be instantly erased. erased. <laughs> Why would you so, have that? So Go hit that. that. Oh, hello, Miss. Hello, Miss Oil. <laughs> hello, Miss Oil. I yeah. see you have two delicious Ow! hamburgers. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and, and we can't do the rest of it because it's no. a G rated show here. Yes. Oh, my that, that's God. The button that oh, that, but, but, yeah, but, I, I remember I we were at the studio talking about throwing a ball back and forth, just like goofing around between the, Oh, my God. The, I hit the all race button. Race button. <laughs> And the thing was, the place instantly, <laughs> nothing the, on it. The producers were in Australia too, so it was like three in the morning for them, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah you guys are funny and all, but can we get it done?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that, that was, yeah, I, got, I got, I got to have myself a Foster Loggers and go to bed. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's oh right. my god. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think I that we uh, uh, last Frank, I think we had the GI Joe guys on, uh, and they they told the story about yeah this this audio production studio that had this big red self destruct button yeah. on, on the wall that would wipe out everything. I was like, what were they do? What were they doing in there? It's like we didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> it was like in, the in case they, in case they got raided it was yeah, like that's what it was there for yeah <laughs> it was also a speakeasy in the 1930s <laughs> right wow. right so well, we were in the 1930s 1920s oh now now I'm a, now I'm going to get on youtube see if i can find this uh, popeye footage because just oh, see yeah, it's well. good well uh, that was back in the early days of animation so everybody looked all blocky and everything. I mean, it was yeah, one yeah. step above the Dire Straits video. It was like really like. A... <laughs> oh, Olive, I think I need me yeah. spinach. <laughs> yeah. I am what I am. His so, face is all blocky, and that was just yeah. <laughs> so, so Wally, what, what's, uh, what's your what's uh, your moment in the booth you can recall? Well, I, I've I've told this before <laughs> working with Kevin McDonald when <laughs> when uh, all all tallest purple kept saying was what. What? But he was eating something at the same time. So they actually gave Kevin something to eat. They brought him in a bagel from the morning at, at Nickelodeon. They had some bagels there left over. But they wrapped it in a napkin for, you know, germs. So Kevin's like, got this bagel wrapped in this napkin. And he's into his scene. And he's like, taking a bite. What? What? Taking a bite. What? And he's got this piece of napkin hanging out. Going, what? And he keeps eating. He yes, doesn't realize I, he's yes, also I, eating I, the I, napkin. What? I what? remember that. Yeah. And that was our reaction too. I look in the, the, the control room, Jonan and the engineer, everybody's like missing because they're all on the floor rolling, dying with laughter. And I can't <laughs> say anything, but I'm looking over at Kevin. He's got a, what? What? <laughs> I'll never forget it. Hilarious. Anyway. The great, the great Kevin McDonald, everybody. <laughs> Wherever he may be today. Canada. He's, uh, he's in Canada. Yeah. Yep. Not a, there you go. He's, he's in Winnipeg. Back. He'll join us for one of these someday. He will. We'll get him. Thank you, Weasel. Very fun one. What do we have next? Uh, from Amy, Invader Zim musical. When? Finally. Right? We <laughs> talked about this last time, didn't we, guys? We did. Like, we, yeah. We actually Damn. have a Merkin, Smirkin, son of a test tube. I can actually do all of, of Hamilton now. Oh, so far, only okay. Melissa and I have sang. Wait, say it again. Oh, wait. So, remember so far, only Melissa and I have sang in, in, in the show. Who is uh, who is saying? We have all sang. Wait, we all, we have sang, all sang in the sing? show, right? What are you, you talking about? For the Christmas. In the Christmas. Yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about, you're talking about the movie, Ricky, where you say. Yes. Oh, it's the movie. Yeah. The movie is also Invader Zim. I don't know if you remember yes. that. Or not. No, <laughs> it's not. It's it's not it's true. True. This is about if that's not true. Oh, They're the same thing. Cut? It's the was same. The same cut? characters. I don't know if you remember no. this, but the same characters in the series are also in the movie. 
<laughs> I don't think so, Robert De Niro over there. Robert De Niro. You talking to me? Oh my God. <laughs> Um, Not Invaders sure. and Musical. You know what? We yes. we need to we need to write a little something, and we'll be back at you with that. Because according I think to Jonah, there's a bastard that. orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean, impoverished and that's not grow up to be it. That's not Invaders in. <laughs> according to Jonan, a musical will happen over his dead body. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we have to kill him. Yeah. Well, that's what. It, that's actually one of the. That's actually one of the musical numbers. <laughs> it's called yeah. over Jonan's dead body. Right. <laughs> you say no way that we'll do an Irkin musical today. Goodbye, <laughs> Joan. And Joan and you. <laughs> now it is time for you to die. <laughs> Why so sad? Too bad, right? <laughs> Remember, we, we all... made an arrangement <laughs> when Hot Topic sold our stuff. <laughs> I, know, I know where he lives. I'll just get my shovel and go down there. <laughs> Then it's Shovel's a good great, written. Shovel's a great murder yeah. instrument. You can kill him <laughs> and bury him at the same time. Maybe we should That's think true. about like Invader Zim the Cabaret before we think about Invader Zim the Museum. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh boy. Someday. Uh, no, all right. All right. Amy, what stay good tuned. He's sitting, sitting alone in a toilet. Come <laughs> hear the girl play. That's, no, he, likes, he does like musicals. Just tell him we're going to do it like uh, Silence of the Lambs, the musical. Oh. <laughs> me, me. There's, a, there's a Silence of the Lambs musical called Silence. <laughs> Silence, <laughs> Silence of the Goats. You <laughs> might have yeah. seen me in that. You might have seen me in that one. I'm the one going, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, we're gonna have to, yeah, we're gonna have to stay tuned for the musical. Yeah, that's Amy, the entire, I, I, that's the entire uh, lyrics of the entire Silence of the Lambs. Shh, <laughs> he'd like that. I think Tony would like that. <laughs> All right, Amy. Uh, hash, hashtag Zim the musical. Get it going. Yes, he let it too. trend. Make it trend. Yeah, yes, indeed. Yeah. Oh, what's next? Here's my vote, Jason. Uh, does everybody have a favorite episode of Invader Zim? And which one is it? It's called Enter the Florpus. Oh, That's my favorite. Fair. Well, no, we're talking about Invader Zim, Ricky. Very long. Not the movie. Yeah. Not the movie. Very long episode. Very it's a long, long episode. episode. Enter the Florpus. I too love that. I too do. I really, really do. And I and and I, I love everything. I love everything about it, but I also love Game Slave. Game Slave's good. I yeah. love Game Slave except for one thing. It wasn't a full cast. Right. Right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have, I have I have I have three favorite episodes. Did you just um, say three? Did you three. say three? <laughs> three. I like uh Rise of the Zip Boy mm -hmm. with Pastulio. Yeah. I like um Planet Jackers. All right. I like uh, Zim Eats Waffles. <laughs> yeah. And I like Walk of Doom. That's four. That's four. Well, he said three. I said three. Oh, he said three. Yeah, you just said four episodes just now. Three, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> His glasses might be needing, you know, a check there. <laughs> Uh, well, you got one? Oh, uh, yes. A very unpopular opinion, apparently, but I like Mortos, their soul stealer. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. that's an Do one. these rubber pants make Mortos' butt look big? <laughs> like, oh, puppies! No, oh, that's I one of my favorites. That's a good one. I love that one. Uh, Jonan yeah, yeah. hates it. Everybody hates it, but uh, no, I like Jordan it. Jonan loves Mortos. You he know does? Why? Oh, yeah, he loves Mortos. You know why? Because Mortos is based off of a Norwegian uh, death metal single, singer named Mortis. Who would dress like as a goblin, and we uh, found that guy. Oh my God. Uh, we found that guy online, and we were <laughs> laughing hysterically. And so that's where the idea of Mortos came from. He's just a, he's a bigger version of of Mortis. Oh my Remember God, when we were in crazy. Phoenix? When we were and we were in Arizona doing that thing at that club? We did the signing, and then we went to the club oh, later yeah, that yeah, night yeah. for some screenings. And they they put they were we we're gonna watch some episodes, and they put up Mortos or Soul Steel. I'm like, oh, this will be great. And Jonah goes, no. 
<laughs> where, was was that? where was that? No, like, shut it off. Shut it off. And then they <laughs> realized they had the wrong episode. I'm like, but I wanted to see that one. But with, yeah, with Jonah, it was probably like the, like in his, like, he specifically had something he wanted to show at that moment and it was oh, the okay. wrong thing. Oh, oh I see. Okay. It doesn't mean he well, hates not thing. It just, it was wrong in his head. Oh, I see. It wasn't that he was ashamed of it. I get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he loves Marcos. Yeah. That's a relief. No, yeah. he's a he's a jewel, that man. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Eddie, I would have I would have named the movie Enter the Floor of Pus. Right. You would have. And then yeah, um yeah. Enter the Floor of Pus. Maybe most people think of that when they hear floor pus. Maybe their brain floor just goes pus. floor of pus. So and maybe it's, it's and like you know, subliminal things, you know. It's just Pastulio who's just <laughs> been just, just popped. Someone popped Pastulio, popped. and it just that's how we got the episode. Enter Power. the floor of pus. Brilliant. Oh, I have to correct myself. He's not a death metal singer. Mortis was a black metal singer. Oh, really? Really. Yeah. But what's he was dressed difference? as a goblin. He was dressed as a yeah, goblin in a long difference? nose. He was like uh uh black like the, the, the witch from a uh, um uh, Meg Mucklebones from uh, Legend. Yeah. Long oh, wow. Years. Yeah. He's great. Now Patty has two things to look up later. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Actually, Adam the Popeye video, CD Rum. I'm actually I'm actually having our producer see if we can find an image of the of the of the singer because yeah. I think our audience is gonna see that. I you just made me think of like Witchy Poo from Lidsville or something oh, like that. Know, from oh, from Puffin oh, stuff. Puffin Puffin stuff. stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you I think I've told this story before, but um, yeah. Billy Hayes. I, I want to hear it. Billy Hayes was Witchy yeah. Poo, and yeah. Billy Hayes yeah. passed away last year, and she was like 96. She looked amazing, yeah. to be honest with you. Oh, wait. Oh, there's Martez. There's Martez. There, is. there it is. That yeah. is not Billy Hayes. Do that these gauze bandages make Mortise's butt look big? <laughs> yes, yeah. these bandages. But again, wow. there was a little Witchy Poo, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very Witchy Poo. Well, a little Witchy Poo, yeah. When I was doing Billy and Mandy, um, the the uh, director Chris Zimmerman said to me, "I have a surprise for you uh, on on Friday for or Monday for our record." And I walked into the booth, and there was Billy, and I was like a little kid all over again because I loved HR Puff and stuff, and I was like a fanboy, like Wally's a fanboy. I was like the big biggest fanboy, <laughs> and I did my. <laughs> No, Wally is a fanboy like me. He gets excited about meeting people that that we grew up with, and 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 Billy is one of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh, was also a great Mammy Yoakum in the Little Abner movie. Yes, she was. Yes, and, but but so I look at her and I go, oh, oh, oh hello, Weenie, <laughs> and she laughs and she says, uh, she says, oh my God, I wish Charles uh, could see you, Nelson Riley, and. Um, and and Alice Ghostly, who to me was the female version of Paul. Lynn, female right? version of Charles Nelson, yeah. right? Charles Nelson, right? Right? And she goes, you know, we have dinner plans this week because our birthday is all are all right next to each other, so we have birthday dinners together every year. I'm like, oh my gosh, I would love to go. And she goes, oh, oh no, honey, you're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Richard, have you, have you seen uh, have you seen Billy on the Paul Lind Halloween special? Yes, with yeah. Witchy Poo with, with and, Margaret Hamilton and Margaret yeah. Hamilton. Yeah, it's, and it's Paul amazing. Lind keeps calling the Wicked Witch of the West Margaret. Oh, yeah. Margaret! <laughs> oh, Margaret! <laughs> Hello, Darwood. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Culligan man. Nobody knows any of these references. Let's really? move on, Patty. Really? Let's move on. <laughs> Go back to Patty. Uh, oh look, I, was, I want this to go on, but uh, yeah, because we, we lost Billy last spring. It was uh, last year. It was just a few months ago. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, well, it seems wow. like. Yeah. She was, yeah. she was, and let's do it. another one. This this is why I cannot wait to see Licorice Pizza because yes, let's see Licorice it has, Pizza. Because even though the title is Licorice Pizza, I just read an article. It's not about Licorice Pizza. It's not, about the, it's not about the record Licorice store. Pizza. No, <laughs> it's about coming of age in the San Fernando Valley in the 1970s. Yeah. And that oh my is God. my my story. I came of age. Called, I came of age one family. night in 1970 <laughs> in the San Fernando <laughs> Valley. Uh, let's end that story right there. There's a story right <laughs> there. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Paul <laughs> All right, let's roll another one. What do we got? Can I 
That was scary. That's our, that, that yeah, that's our special oh. graphic because oh, oh yeah. hello. Yeah. Is this thing on? Oh, Did you boy. make that cookie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's like a good that. cookie. Wow. That's a great oh, one. thank you, thank you. <laughs> I love you for that's that. really good. Oh, thank you. What was the uh, little graphic we just saw? Uh, it's, it's, it's it's a yeah, every time we get this question, we've got it. We get it so often. We, uh, my producer Paul, made a special graphic for it. If Invader Zim had a crossover, what fandom would it be? So it could be a show, a movie, a franchise, World of Shakespeare, the New York Mets, just something you'd like to see Invader Zim uh, crossed over with. Broadway. Hamilton, Hamilton, Broadway. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's it, Hamilton. I, I would say the Muppets. <gasps> the Muppets, yeah, yeah, that yeah. works. Yeah. Oh, an all puppet Muppet. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god, that would be awesome. What about? Uh, uh, oh, that's that's uh, Phil's. Uh, some of Phil's characters over in the UK. Yeah, uh, his name is Phil Fletcher. I think. Wow. He does great, uh, great puppets. Yeah. So cool. He's a UK so uh, puppeteer. So yours is Broadway. Wally, what's your crossover? Also Muppets? Planet of the Apes. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to I would love to see a Dr. Zaya Stout uh, tallest red and purple. Everybody, everybody's yeah. an ape. Everyone's <laughs> an ape. Well, uh, Zim would be too. Zim would be uh bright eyes would be uh, Taylor and then they I don't know. I'm, I would I like just to love see. to see <laughs> I would I would, like I, would see, I would like to see an invader Zim the Waltons crossover. <laughs> God, no one's gonna remember the Waltons. <laughs> Good, night, Zim boy. Good night, Zim. Good night, Zim. Good night, Zim, Good night, Zim, Good night, Zim boy. Good night, Zim boy. <laughs> Good night, filthy stink like, beast. Would you like eight is enough right. while you're at it? Yeah, eight is enough. Zim is eight enough. Is Zim is enough. <laughs> Yes, little like little, little house, little, little house on the Zim. Yeah, little, little, little Zim. yes, I'm loving this. Starsky oh and Zim. <laughs> got me, you got me. Uh, the the massive would have a, a big white stripe on the side, and they'd go tearing yeah. through the galaxy, doing, doing wheelies, doing like, you know, it'd be great. Yeah, slide across the room. Just a just a good old alien, dude. <laughs> Never <laughs> meaning no harm. Gursky and Zim. Gursky and Zim. I, 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 let's sell I that. Yeah. We'll guy. We're going to capture the Martians. And I guess I'm going to go. Uh, charge a nickel a piece yeah. for the room. <laughs> Boss, ho Boss Hog would be the uh, bo tallest hog. <laughs> right, tallest <laughs> hog. Oh, my hog. God. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, oh I, think I, I think I'd like to see an Invader Zim Apple's Way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the only one in the room that got that, Richard. <laughs> I know. Uh, okay. Apple's how about Ronnie? How Ronnie about, Cox. Yes. Ronnie Cox. How, yep. Yep. How about Alias Zim and Jones? Oh my God! <laughs> you are really dating yourself now. But whoa. <laughs> my, my dinner with Andre, but with Zim. How's that? Yeah, yeah my dinner, my dinner with, with Zim. Zim. <laughs> Hey Richard, Richard. That's right, and I can be, I can be Wallace Shawn. Wallace Shawn. Wallace Shawn. Hey, here's a here's an obscure one, Richard. Zim and Yo Yo. Oh yes, Holmes and Yo Yo. Yes. <laughs> that was John uh, Shuck. That John was Shuck. John yep. Shuck, and yep. I did the Munsters today with John Shuck. Right. He was good. Yes. He was a nice actor. When I was, was out here in 1976 nice visiting with my family, yeah. I, you know, going to Disneyland and doing, we were driving down in the tour bus going from NBC to Universal for the tour. And, and we looked at the street. I'm looking out the window and there's John Shook, all raggedy ass with a shirt, yeah. just walking down the street, singing to himself. La, la, la. Like, oh my gosh, it's John Shook from Holmes and Yo-Yo. I was yeah. 16. I was starstruck. It was amazing. How about, how about 10, 10 speed and gum zim? <laughs> <laughs> You Richard. stole it. I was gonna say I was gonna say Zim Speed and Brown Shoe, but yeah. Zim Speed and Brown Shoe. I got it. Richard, I just found and watched all of your Gilgamesh movie. <laughs> you uh, watched it? It's on YouTube. Uh, yeah. I watched what? the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Mix it with that. I, I like Zim Zim your Lumbo. Zim Zim Lumbo. 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 Eh. Excuse me, stink beast. <laughs> <laughs> Zim Lumbo. 
Uh, oh well, Jolene, you open a <laughs> you open a pop culture fibber wow. closet on that. Little did they know. <laughs> I would like to do a Tony Orlando and Zim crossover. <laughs> Battle of the Network Stars. <laughs> Sunny oh, and Zim. <laughs> oh, my God. Robert my Conrad challenges play. Zim to a race. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, there you go. Barnaby Jolene. Zim. Should I take in that call? It was my mother. <laughs> the, the Beverly Zimbillies. <laughs> uh, roll another one because we're never getting off this train. No, <laughs> we're not. And I wouldn't be remiss if I didn't say it since Wally mentioned Planet of the Apes. We have a Planet of the Apes event this weekend. So come and visit right. us and check us out. Yes. Yeah. Zira. This. Zira. We have from Tyler and Kinsley. How do you prepare yourselves for voicing a character? Does anybody do any exercises or anything get in zone and yeah, everybody's a little different on this. Oh, I turn off my phone <laughs> so my yeah. mother can't call. Oh, <laughs> that's how you prepare. Hi, mom. Prepare I like to sing. I like to sing Broadway tunes before I record. It really warms up my vocal cords. Yeah, I do, yeah, I do like it. Hmm? Yeah. Who's that? Who's there? My husband. My it's Joel. <laughs> hey, hi, Famous. Joel. Famous drummer Joel Alpers, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yes, he here, Jolie. It's in here. Um, he is speaking of Hamilton. Can you can he just can you lay down a beat for me? (laughs) Can you lay down a beat? Okay, here you go. Wait, here, wait. Okay. How does a bastard orphan son of a whore and a Scotsman dropped in the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean? Go ahead. Go ahead, Patty. You know what? Our little boy is going to get his second vaccine where the card was and it was in the office door so yeah Uh, hallelujah hallelujah finally merry christmas here's a shot (laughs) (laughs) now we can go to costa rica yes that's right (laughs) and and because he was on screen it did something i can now add him to my resume and celebrities i've Mm -hmm. hosted thank you he's playing eight shows a week at the pantages theater here in los angeles yes he is yeah Yes. How does a bat? Okay, go ahead, Patty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what I was going to say is in that the question, um, you know, for voice actors, we have to do a lot of preparation. I mean, maybe some people don't. Maybe they just smoke a cigarette and go on and do their raspy voices. But I have to That's do. Right. All these- I, I'm right here. I can hear you. <laughs> and then they use a lozenge and they're good to go or they pop a couple advil have a lozenge a swig of jack daniels and they're good to go on, on the she mic. said lozenge she said what? lozenge oh, that's oh, sorry. Sorry. okay we're gonna stop oh, okay. word. sorry uh, <laughs> that's today's secret word poison girls ah, lozenge ah! <laughs> but what i was going to say is i put myself through all my i've been a singer all my life so i've been putting myself through vocal warm-ups Ooh always sing before a voice job or a singing job or anything that's using my voice or even just regular acting auditions it's like kind of my warm-up it always starts with my voice and um and it, it's like a it's like a singer's warm-up and scales and all my little things that i do and 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 it gets me there and then if i'm working on a specific character that character will come into the warm-up <laughs> you know and then try to do the vocal warm-up in that character and kind of get it there so this is serious business <laughs> it's not just fun but it is fun <laughs> do, you, do you have specific things you say to get into specific characters, like a catchphrase for that character that you say to kind of, kind of get into it? Yeah, like if it's a character, like like if I'm doing Gaz, it's hey, you know, did you drink my soda? <laughs> you know, like or, or now, like, do, now do Gaz, now do Gaz. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. <laughs> you suck. You suck. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. uh, my son hey, 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 did you drink my that's, that's it. That's it. Uh, that's it. That's that's bow go. down. That's bow down, <laughs> woman. That's the Christmas singing woman. Oh <laughs> my god. Oh my yeah. god. It's all uh, so Wally, what uh, you got any rituals or anything you do? Yeah, I, I like to. I, I was, you know, I think everybody has one catchphrase they like to do just to kind of get into like a riddle me this, Batman, you cowled clod. I like to say that as Riddler, yeah. and so 
Hey, hey, Garfield, you want some lasagna? That's always the the John Arbuckle warm up. That's and a I good one. And then, welcome, brave Urkin soldiers. Well, how about a sandwich, Sam? That's always my warm-up. So I think uh, for each character, we always have that one thing. And you, as long as you can say that sentence and sound, okay, good, I'm good to go. I'm good to go. That's what, yeah, that's but, what but Sometimes is. if I have some acid reflux or something going in my throat, I can't, the John Arbuckle comes out like, hey, car failed. I'm like, uh-oh, not today, not today. Not today. So, yeah, yeah. But it's just that one catchphrase that uh, you just kind of warm up and then, okay, now, now I'm into it. So, Richard, what, do you have one of those that you? Uh, no, Ricky drinks the blood of a virgin goat. I thought I just, just eats a candy cane. A pile of help. peanuts now. Uh, yeah. I usually before I voice, I just I eat a pile of peanuts. Like maybe I get some <laughs> butter in there, get some cheese. You know, wash it down with some and hot cheese. coffee, cheese, right. and soda crackers, and soda yeah. crackers. Oh, soda crackers. Yeah. It yeah, really, yeah. Just, yeah, gets it going. And uh, I just bought some, uh, just bought some uh, Turkish delight. I'm gonna try that next. I think that uh, that'll Ooh, work out fine. Yeah. Everybody's texting me all of a sudden. <laughs> they're all they're all uh, seeing you on the internet, Ricky. It's your mom, we're, Ricky. We're watching you on the internet. Have the interwebs. To my mom that I'm that I'm busy, and so my mom is replying back. Oh, she's gonna, worried, gonna, worried gonna, about you. Right. She's worried about you. No, when you, you no, we're all worried Wally, about you, Ricky. Wally, when you said there was a catchphrase that you like to use. It reminds me when I was living in New York for a while and I was working on stage in New York and I I heard this from another actor friend and I used it all the time that they, you know, you live in apartments and, you know, people are banging on your door if they hear you do your warm ups, you know, they're like, shut up and you, you're warming up your voice. So a friend of mine said, well, I just go outside and I hail a bunch of taxis. <laughs> hey, taxi! Or hey, taxi! And like, like hail a bunch of taxis in whatever voice they're trying to warm up. In that can get really expensive, though, right? All those taxis. <laughs> yeah, you have to get the ride. You're obligated. You gotta pay them. It's like, it's like Uber. Right? No. Yeah, how would obligated. Zim? How would Zim hail a taxi? Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Beasts, beasts, come pick up your overlord. <laughs> hey, hey, taxi. Hey. Uh, hey, 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 taxi. Hey. Taxi. Hey. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> uh, you to crawl into I the think, belly of this big yellow beast. I think that is one of my favorite moments in Enter the Floor of Pus is when <laughs> when Zim is chasing Dib. And he's like, you're ugly when you lie, Dib. I'm not <laughs> lying. Then why are you ugly? <laughs> uh, that was your ad lib, right? I ad lib the end part. Yeah, it was just like, you're ugly when you lie. I said, then why are you the ugly? The is a part of the series. What movie? <laughs> Uh, Taylor and Kinsey, that was a great one. Time goes by so fast. Any final words before we take our leave? Uh, Richard and I are both in Psychonauts 2 together, so go play that video game. It's really good. Yay! Yes. Um, continue to watch Hell of a Boss. Uh, that's that we have episodes coming out, and I think you're gonna be happy. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of fun stuff. Just keep an eye on our Instagrams and our <laughs> social medias. My Richard, Instagram you, is uh, Richard Horvitz but, VO. Yes, are you still teaching? Yes, I am still teaching. Uh, Richard Horvitz classes, plural, at gmail.com. I always send Thank everyone you, who sends me an inquiry to you, Richard. Thank you, Ricky. That's because I don't want to deal with Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I, now you know it. <laughs> I was going to say all the things I send over to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. What about uh, you, Wallace? Uh, Cookiemonster.net, a new uh, uh, short story every Saturday. Come closer uh, again. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Crystal Wien. Like, what is it? Crystal Yay. Oh, there you go. Dot net. That's awesome. Okay. A dot net like you'd uh, throw over a werewolf. So, uh, a lot of uh, Christmas uh, monster themed Christmas stories. Uh, I've narrated them. Uh, they're short, about uh, 10, 15 minutes. Uh, there's a new one up on Christoween.net every day now through 
uh, Christmas Day. It started on October 2nd. There are 13 stories in the set. And uh, check it out. My cat, who's meowing, actually loves it. So christoween.net, there's my uh, my book back there. Uh, hopefully we'll get some strategic partners to get these books published and get some merchandise and get some animated stuff. And then we can all work again on this thing. So it'll be really fun. So Yay. excellent. Uh, yeah, awesome. Yay. How about you, Melitcha? Um, I'm just working, you know, working on a lot of things. Sometimes I can't talk about them, but work is really good. And I just want to. Is it because you haven't warmed up yet? Because I haven't warmed up. You can't talk because you're. Hey, Cab! No. Because she hasn't had a lozenge. You know what I will say? There's been a huge resurgence lately of um, Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, and because of live action on yeah, Netflix. There's live action, yeah. but we're, but there's so much now, and there's so much happening with the um, original anime cast, and we've been doing a lot of appearances and talking about it a lot, and we just did some wonderful articles. We did one for Newsweek. We did one for Cosmopolitan. We're on yeah. Fandom, and there's a lot of cool articles out there, and there's been a lot of talking about it, and it's really been fun. Why are you hanging out with us, then? I mean, I love you guys. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> and that's always my album. I got my album right here. Whoa. I, have album. I have that album. You guys album. have that. Album. You guys have. I have that. You guys album. have that. Um, yeah. yeah. No, you know. It's really it's good. All good. It's all it's, good. I, hey, just, who doesn't like uh, getting an album as a gift for the holidays? Just right. saying. Hey, thank you, Patty. Yeah. Just awesome. Saying. I've heard it said. People come into our lives for a reason. Take it. <laughs> I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason. Now you take it. Bring, Bring us something we must, learn. we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if yes. we let them. Wicked, you love to sing Wicked, honey. I love you know, singing we Wicked. Need to, we need to just have a, a, a cover, right? Yeah, and then absolutely. Then we'll, then we'll, we'll finally write, like, something. <laughs> write, like a parody of Zammer. But, bum, you know. Ba -dum, but we won't. Bum, ba -dum. <laughs> what is this feeling so sudden and new? I heard the moment I laid eyes on you. Okay, we have to stop. We can't do that. Okay, we have to go back. <laughs> right. can't do you know any more than that, you're going to have to pay her rights. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to Patty. It's Patty's problem. Yeah. Right. I, 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 that's above my pay grade, young man. And you, know, you know who I answer to. <laughs> I do. And you don't want to make him mad. <laughs> lozenge, or, lozenge, or lozenge. Her, lozenge. Or her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my friends oh, I, once again thank you for joining us here as always it's an absolute blast let's please let's hopefully we'll do this again have a very great holiday season everyone thank you to our audience for joining us thank you for your thank great you, questions everyone. hope to see everybody thank again you. soon bye bye everyone take yeah, care and remember yeah. smiles are free spend them often Oh my god!